Let's head on up north into I-25. That's where a major collision there could affect your commute. Amanda Zitzman is there live. Well, guys, take a look right now. They have the southbound lanes of I-25 shut down. This is at the Berthet exit, and right now they're diverting traffic onto the frontage road that runs parallel to I-25 here. Traffic on 25 is really at a crawl, and here's what we know so far. State Patrol says one semi slammed into the back of another semi. This is a little further south than the berth at exit, but the cause is still under investigation. This happened sometime before 2.30 this morning. A man was taken to the hospital, and we're waiting for an update on his condition. About an hour ago, State Patrol tweeted that it would take them a while to clean this up. We did pass the crash scene on the way to this exit. They are actively working to clear this. In the meantime, try to avoid 25 southbound if you can in the berth at area. We're going to head down this frontage road ourselves, make our way towards the crash scene. But for now, we want to check in with Jason for a look at how bad this backup's getting. It, it really is getting tremendously bad. It's almost going back to Johnson's Corner at this point. So let's go up to the north. This is the southbound side of I-25. And so here's the exit right here. Now, the accident is actually closer to the Mead area. So it's going to be within this area. That's why it's closed down right now. And traffic is backing up back towards Johnson's Corner. So everybody's exiting here, going across the bridge. And you saw from Amanda's picture, then everybody's going to go down that frontage road. Now, from the camera that we have here near Berthoud, you can't quite see any of the uh, accident activity, but the frontage road goes all the way down here to the meat area, back up onto the highway, and then head south again on I-25. So there will be a uh, extensive delay because of it this morning, unfortunately.